queue, you talk me through it. Was that all part of the theatre? Well, I guess so, Dean, but isn't she just amazing? I mean, usually I ride her so arrogantly and I just let her move into the race when it pleases me, but I didn't have that option today. And, you know, I was in their inside grunt and who I had a healthy respect for. And I was thinking, you know, I was, I really didn't want to be there, but I didn't have much choice. And when the pressure went on, it was good because it was a bit of a steady, once we all settled into our positions, the pace was quite steady. But when the sprint went on, those horses that couldn't quicken as well, sort of it left a few options for me, but still, it was her champion qualities that came out in the end. And uh, Young Star's a quality filly, and you know it was great to see her race so well. And when I peeled off her back and went out after them, I thought, oh, we're in for a fight. But <laughs> the final hundred, it was just uh, extraordinary, and that'll do her good, you know. I mean, she's she had to really dig deep over the final 600 metres today and that'll bring her on nicely for the for the fourth Cox Plate hopefully in uh, three weeks time. All the accolades, her race record, all the group ones, but is it looking at the grandstand now seeing a sea of blue, all the kids with their flags, their hats, is it the legacy she'll leave behind that you'll be so proud of? I think so, look, great horses uh, attract so much attention and you know it's so wonderful for our industry to have a horse like this and you know I suppose there's kids here today that their parents have brought out that will remember it for the rest of their lives and I know I certainly will and I, I just feel so privileged and humbled to be in the opposite op to have the opportunity to ride such a ma magnificent athlete. To you Umut who looks after this horse Ben Cadden it's, uh, you talk about the team effort it's they share it with you don't they? Oh, and all the families of the owners and my family and our extended families and, you know, even people in the racing industry. Like, people get a real kick out of seeing a good horse and, you know, she's better than good. She's a, she's a once-in-a-lifetime horse and, you know, for all those people working around Australia and around the world that are getting up early in the Northern Hemisphere to watch her race, uh, you know, that, that, that it's, a, that, it's the hairs on the back of your neck that it may stand up and I'm thinking today at the thousand metres I'm really in the hand of the gods here I can't decide when I get going here today and the more I tried to manoeuvre myself in a position to be in a controlling spot the less likely it was going to happen so I had to bide my time like I did in race two here today and Fortunately, the horse got me out. Mate, on behalf of everyone who loves Winx, congratulations. We have loved every minute of this ride. Well done. Thank you, Dean.